لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوئل من القول الا من ظلم these two ayat now following two ayat are very important in a society you know in a society it often happens somebody does some injustice to another man some brother doing some injustice to a brother inna al khulata la yabghi ba'dhum ala ba'dhin now if a person has been wronged injustice has been done to him if he says out something loudly which is not pleasant or bad although allah doesn't like these things but this person will be condoned and pardoned because he was wronged dukhe dil ki sada even he has used harsh words bad words ugly words allah will condone because he was wrong la yuhibbu allah al jahra bisu allah doesn't like shouting of bad words min al qaul illa man zulim except from a person who has been wrong something harmful has been done to him either his honor or his life or his property or his body some injury has been done to it now if he says something he will be condoned wakan allah samian alima it's a very balanced teaching not only idealistic never say anything bad it's very easy to say these words but when you are in such a condition you know what will happen to you دلے صاحب دلے نامد بے درد ہیچ کو میرا خدا رسوا نہ کر دس آنر کمس ٹو نیشن وائی بیکاز دی ہارٹس آف سم پیپل ہو ہیو ایمان ان اٹ دے فیل پین دے آر پرسیکیوٹیڈ تا دلے صاحب دلے نامد بے درد ہیچ کو میرا خدا خود رسوا نہ کر Don't inflict pain on any human being. Don't injure his honor or property or body. لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم. وكان الله سميع عليم. Allah is ever listening, ever all knowing. إن تبدو خيرا أو تفوه وتافو أنسوين. But now this is the persuasion, ترغيب. First was concession. If something wrong has been done to you and you have said something ugly, you shouldn't have said so, but because you were wronged, okay, we shall pardon. But it is better for you not to say so. If you do good, either openly or secretly, or if you, if you forgive something which has been done to you bad, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَفُوًا قَدِيرًا So Allah is also forgiving. Don't you need His forgiveness? If you want His forgiveness, try to forgive your fellow brothers, your fellow beings. مَنْ لَا يَرْحَمْ لَا يُرْحَمْ الحديث Who doesn't have mercy on men will not be able to get mercy from Allah. إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَفُوًا قَدِيرًا He is Qadir. He can punish instantly. But He gives you time to amend your ways. He ignores. Inna al-lazina yakfurun. Again, three ayat are very important, very important, very important regarding a big fitna of our time. What is that fitna? Well, Quran is sufficient for us. Or Number two, fitna. Well, if anybody to belonging to any religion, if he has faith in Allah and resurrection and he does good deeds, well, he will have salvation. It's no need that he must be a Muslim. He must believe in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After all, he's a gentle person. He's a noble man. He established such a big foundation for the for the good 
of humanity for the service of humanity all these fitnas you know these three ayat will deal with it innal ladina yakfuruna billahi wa rusulihi verily those who reject allah and his apostles or messengers wa yuriduna yufarriqu bain allah wa rusulihi and they want to make a distinction between allah and his messengers belief in allah is sufficient no need of belief in messengers you for the kuban allah wa rasuli they want to separate allah from his messengers or they want to separate his messengers from allah wa yaquluna no min bi ba'din wa nakfur bi ba'd and they say we accept part of it and accept and reject the other we accept allah but not the apostle or we accept one apostle not the other both are equally wrong ba yuridu an yattakhidu bain zalika sabila they want to have a middle path ulaika humul kafirun haqqa they are the unbelievers in truth they are unbelievers waatadna lil kafirin azaban muhina and we have prepared for such unbelievers and rejecters of the truth a chastisement which is very painful and very humiliating on the contrary walladhina amanu billahi wa rasulihi wa lam yufarriqu baina ahadin minhum now this is the positive side verily those who believe in allah and his apostles and messengers and don't make any discrimination between them between any of them argument they accept moses they accept david solomon says everyone not jesus gone they accept jesus not muhammad gone tafriq bain ar-rusul that is why we find you know in the last but one ayah of surah al-baqarah la nufarriqu bain ahadin min amana ar-rasul bima unzila ilayhi min rabbihi wal mu'minun kulluna amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi la nufarriqu bain ahadin minhum minhum that is in the 16th section of surah al-baqarah so we don't make any distinction discrimination we believe all the messengers of allah and very soon there will come an aya that not only those apostles and prophets who have been mentioned in quran there have been many more but we can't say for a particular person that he was an apostle or a messenger or a prophet of allah unless his name has been mentioned in the quran we can't say it for sure but we can say it for sure that so many other apostles and prophets of allah were sent to this world who have not been mentioned in this quran wal ladina amanu billahi wa rasulihi wa lam yufarriqu baina ahadin minhum ulaika sawfa yutihim ujurahum wa kana allahu ghafuran rahima to these allah will give them their reward their due wa kana allahu ghafuran rahima and allah is ever forgiving ever merciful